Hey everybody, welcome to our Stargrave Adventure. We are back with Quarantine 37, the zombie-themed, uh, space bug-themed, both adversary and um, solo-slash-cooperative expansion for Joe McCullough's hit Stargrave. Now, um, if you're following along with Stargrave, of course, my Inquisitor Toulon Hass has been playing through the core missions, uh, but the prequel to it is his mentor, who he's gone looking for on Logan's World. So I've got a, a sort of a, a 40K Rogue Trader theme to my Stargrave campaign, uh, and his, his mentor was Jedi Oberon, um, who had led a mission basically to the previous revealing of Logan's World. Logan's World is a a uh, world in the Eye of Terror that occasionally is absorbed in and out. It kind of phases in and out of reality. Warp storms cloud it. Uh, you know, every 20 years or so they clear and Imperial rule takes back hold. But generally speaking, it's kind of a mess of a lawless planet cut off from the Imperium. If I wanted to set it in today's Imperium, I could probably just set it in the Nachman Rift um, and have it fit right in. But anyway, it's old school. We're using old school miniatures. And um, there is a four mission campaign here where we're going to explore more of what happened with Inquisitor Oberon. Um, as he basically goes to the Imperial installation that's orbiting Logan's world, it's been cut off, it's, you know, battle damaged, half destroyed, and him and his security forces go to investigate what happened on their arrival to Logan's world and see if they can make contact with any Imperial survivors. Of course, as they do so, they discover the whole place is full of Neuron Plague victims, Hadrian's Plague, uh, and yeah, the zombie fighting commences. So we'll show you the table, show you the mission, and we'll get this underway. All right, so we are set up for Quarantine 37, uh, the solo campaign, which is called Get Back to the Ship. So here we have the uh, the sort of like just outside the docking area of the station, of course. Um, the, uh, the station was badly damaged, and Inquisitor Oberon has taken his security forces inside. Uh, and so when you do solo warband creation, um, you do it the same as a normal warband. But this mission in particular, you don't start with the entirety of your warband. You're actually divided. So uh, Inquisitor Oberon's warband for this mission is going to be partially Imperial forces from the Big Red One that he's brought with him to uh, Logan's World, and some Imperial uh, slash adventuring slash miscreant survivors that are already on the station. And this is going to explain how he met Phobos, the Grinx. Uh, and became uh, became his first mate because <laughs> the cat is the first mate in every good horror movie. That is the uh, the, the the rule. Jedi Oberon, he's a mystic. Um, he's level fifteen. He's just starting. He's got a move of six, fight plus four, shoot plus two, armor nine, will plus five, and seventeen health. His powers, he knows, are void blade, heal, dark energy, lift, and energy shield. He's armed with a shotgun, grenades, and a deck. On the security forces, he has just a uh, regular recruit there. He has a sentry and a, um, well, whatever the, the gun version of a sentry is, trooper, and then a hacker uh, as his last one. And that's the half that will start the mission in mission one. And then mission two is the other half. We have um, Phobos, the biomorph. It's a Grinx, little kitty there. Classic um, uh, rogue trader animal model. Uh, he's moved seven, fight plus three, shoot plus two, armor 10, will plus two, and 15 health. And he has restructure body, armor plates, toxic claws, and quick step, as he is a murder kitty. Think of him kind of like um, Artemis from Sailor Moon. I used, a, I used a Sailor Moon reference in this video. Just, get, you gotta deal with it. I uh, got a armor trooper, which is um, Mew 2. It's my uh, Imperial robot. It's actually an old Imperial knight that I painted up. I love this old knight paladin miniature. I wanted to use it in 40k. So it uh, counts as a marine. It's, it's uh, my one cyborg, or one sort of robot in this faction as well. I'm um, with a hand weapon, carbine, um, and all the other good stuff that uh, power armor troops get. Then I have a regular recruit back there with the staff, the astropath. He's been hanging on here this whole time. Uh, the servitor, which has uh, the um, the picks. It's basically my, my chiseler. And then a gunfighter, which is a new class. This is the Imperial Scout. He's what's kept this band together. Um, actually, it's the cat, but the scout thinks he's the one that's kept it all together. The old Imperial Scout from the, the 40k Adventurer series. Now, he has some um, dual pistols, which he can fire as a single pistol, but gets plus one damage because of his dualies ability. The new um, soldier type from Quarantine 37. You guys will appear in mission two and will be off table for now, as they are currently trapped deeper inside the station and have been hoping for rescue for several years, as the warp storms, of course, um, or maybe not even so, it's just several weeks, they might have come salvaging and gotten trapped. When the door slid open and the horde of mindless hulks pus, uh, poured through, it cut your party in half. Although you gunned down dozens of the foul creatures, they just kept coming and you were forced to retreat. Thankfully, you managed a last garbled conversation with your first mate and agreed our rendezvous point. Basically, these guys have met for the first time on the station. Of course, getting uh, anywhere is easier said than done. The station is a maze and the maps you retrieved 
from the station computers must be corrupted for they rarely seem to match the reality of the twisting intersecting corridors the only thing you know for sure is that several levels above where you're docked um sorry you are several levels above where you docked you've got to find a lift and get down to before you are cornered by endless waves of zombies so there you want to get to the lift you finally located a pair of lifts unfortunately they are on the other side of a mostly open cargo bay and it looks like you might have suffered some damage a few of those zombie things are milling around the chamber but they haven't noticed you speed is going to be the key you need to eliminate the threats fast and find a working lift before too many of those things box you in so two by two table here we're on the black site studios uh ship mat using some lovely terrain from death ray designs uh, there are two lift doorways, you can see them here. They are eight inches from the opposite corner. The deployment corner for the team will be over here. Two loot counters, one physical and one data within four inches of the edges. And there are a zombie soldier in front of each of the lift doors. So these are just zombified dudes with carbines. So four zombies, two in the middle of the table, and then two or, or that are next to each of the um, loot tokens only exit through a working lift each of these lifts uh we have to roll for the first time you get adjacent is a free action on a 15 plus it works otherwise it's just trashed and won't open it needs to be opened by trying to repair it by hacking the computers next door the lift opens a little three by three um loading area is created inside and we can go and step on it um we can close the doors at any time and then those models get away if we don't get away then um obviously the scenario ends anyone left behind after this second lift is either um like basically leaves or um uh you know like departs is dead as the zombies basically overwhelm them they're they're cut off abandon our crew if we want to uh, and we deploy within four of this corner so the inquisitor and security team off of his ship the eternal beacon uh basically making 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 contact with a group of pirates who will eventually join the inquisitors right now physical loot in this scenario only causes a minus one move penalty doesn't have your move um, but at the end of every round, we do have to roll on the uh, get to the lift encounter table to see what happens. So the rules for Frostgrave, it's the uh, captain goes, then all the creatures go, then the first mate goes, then the soldiers go. So a modified turn sequence in this one. Zombies for this mission, they're move 5, fight plus 1, shoot plus 0, armor 10, minus 1 will and 10 health. They have a high pain threshold, so they're not wounded. Uh, zombie infection, if I take a melee damage from them, I could get zombified. And then zombie terror, if I start in melee with one, I'd make a will check or potentially lose all my actions. Conveniently, robots pass this will check automatically. The soldier zombies are pretty much the same, except they have a carbine um, and can shoot me during the turn. Point the guns and pull the trigger. It's not its not super efficient, but it means that there are zombies that, that don't just wave sticks at me. Out of game activations for Oberon. Uh, meaning we're going to jump right into round one, uh, captain phase. Captain's going to group activate with, let's say, this trooper and the sentry. Uh, and then he's going to move. He'll go six inches, heading straight forward. And then as his second action, he's going to activate his void blade. Now, void blade activates on a 10 plus, no strain. Gets it off, so it is now active. And he gets his power move with that. He'll move forward three and try and attract some zombies to his lightsaber. Uh, should have actually activated these guys as well. Uh, walking forward, this is Rico, my first sentry. He to move six. Uh, Oberon would actually be back three inches before he actually gets to do his um, other action. So he's going to take a shot at, let's say, this zombie. And we'll move forward with... My sentry before that even happens, that everybody does their first move action. So, plugging away, he shoot plus three, he moved though, so the zombie's plus one becomes a plus two. We use the black die for zombies always. And there's some cover in the way for plus, well, for plus three. So plus three to plus three. That's a miss, that's a five total, but not a jam, uh, thankfully. Two and eight. Rico's gonna move again, moving two and a half. So there, there's a second move. That's Captain Phase over, which means it is a zombie o'clock, starting with the closest one. They move five. So moving up to here with the first action, not in melee. That's all done. The next one, much the same thing, moves up five to here. Next zombie will do much the same thing, heading up five, like so. This one can't see, uh, so it's going to randomly move. He's going to move towards the target point, which in this case is the nearest elevator door. 
to go watch it. This soldier zombie can see Inquisitor Hass, which means he will take a shot with his carbine. Plus zero against Hess's fight of four, six because of his void blade. Uh, so it's a 16, Hess is fine. This one doesn't have line of fire, so it's gonna attempt to move and head towards the closest. Actually, it can't see anybody, so it actually stays where it is near the door because it goes to target point instead. The creature's all done, so we're back to the remaining moves. We're gonna send the hacker forward. Uh, so I think he moved six. He's moved six. So Ace and Rico to leading the way. Diz is gonna move to here. And then Diz is actually gonna start heading towards this token. So she's gonna go two to the edge and then one up in the air. So she's one up the ladder. And then finally this trooper's just, or this recruit's gonna go. Lock in six. And then three more. Roll out squad. You wanna live forever? Event phase. Ooh, an eight. Place two soldier zombies at different random points along the table edge. So uh, we'll do a clockwise and then try and do an entry point. So um, uh, one to five, six to ten, going around. One to five. So soldier zombie players over here. And then the other one, ten over here. Round two. All right, we gotta get to the other as fast as we can here. This is where Brown's gonna go. We just wanna kill some zombies. We wanna kill all the zombies. We wanna move at the same time. So we're gonna go, and they're gonna come to us eventually. So we're gonna go three, six, and in the middle over here, staying at a, the snap two range. We're gonna chuck a dark energy into this zombie over here. The dark energy, if I get it off, it's a 10 plus with a strain of one. Ugh, so I need to basically uh, push to 10, which will, which will get it off. But I'll take two damage. So I go from 17 out of 15. But we get it off, and then it's a shoot plus five um, into that zombie, who is fight plus one, plus two, because I moved. Well, uh, that's a 22. They're only armor 10, so that zombie evaporates. Let's make a power move. So I'm moving three, like now. And we'll group activate, sorry, with uh, Diz and the Sentry. So Diz is gonna come up, going three, so one in the air, so just two more, and then can go another four, start wall running. And she's gonna take a pistol shot? No, she's just gonna move again. I should have moved him as well, uh, his five. Does he wanna just charge in? Uh, yeah, he's gonna charge five to here, and then he'll fire his shotgun into that guy. So a shotgun shot, he's shoot plus two, he's a sentry instead of plus three. Uh, that'll hit, that's a 15 for the zombie, and a 20. A 20 total against armor 10, uh, plus two damage because the shotgun just vaporizes him. And then second action, Dizzy's gonna move again, going three, going half move. All right, well, creature phase. This zombie's gonna come piling into the sentry. Plus three against its fight plus one. Uh, that's a 13. Three damage, leaving it with seven. So seven remains, and we'll force it back an inch, because why not? Uh, shooting Inquisitor Oberon, because we got line of sight with a carbine. Shoot plus zero against his fight plus six because of his dark blade. That's a 12 to a five. He's okay. This fella can't, oh, I guess you can see over here. You can see the trooper, so he'll take a shot. Shoot plus zero, some stuff in the way, so. Uh, that's going to be a 10 to a, well, that's a, he's fight two, so three's armor 11, so he's okay. Then this zombie's gonna have line of sight, so move five. Heading towards everybody. This soldier can see over here, so he'll fire his carbine into my recruit. Shoot plus zero against fight plus one, two because of the cover. He's okay, that's a nine to a five. And this soldier zombie is gonna head towards the target point, which is five, going towards the nearest elevator because he can't see anybody. Diz is behind the ledge. All right, so everybody else. So the recruit's gonna keep on recruiting. <laughs> going six and then three, heading towards the loot on the way to the elevator. we gonna move, heading five, around a cover and then take a carbine shot. Uh, fight plus one for the zombie plus two because I moved, and then I'm shoot plus three because I'm a trooper. That's an eight to a 12, missed. Right, event phase for the zombies, 13. The soldier zombies arrive in random corners. <laughs> so uh, one to five that corner, and then randomize. 14, so back here, and then the other one, four, so up in this corner. So two more soldier zombies arrive. One behind us, one in front of us. And to keep on, keep it on moving. Uh, nobody, I don't think, actually I probably have one model in range to group activate. Just this trooper, or the, the sentry, so that's what I'll group activate with. So we're gonna come flying up with Oberon. He's gonna go six up to here. 
And then his buddy's gonna follow him. Going five with his shotgun. Back to the wall. In actions, we're gonna dark energy again on a 10 plus. See if we can get it off. Oh, do I cut for five? I mean, I could. I'll take six damage though. But we're gonna cut for five and then take a six and go to nine. We're not quite wounded, but we're not feeling great. But I want this shooting attack. Time is of the essence here. Plus five to cut to make that a 10. And then it's shoot plus five against that uh, five plus one soldier zombie. Uh, plus five is 18 to 19. He misses. He does get to power move. And we're gonna move within an inch. So the zombie forces combat with us. <laughs> Up close, shotgun shot into that zombie. Uh, shoot plus two, uh, plus two for me having moved for the zombie. Poof, zombie just ducks out of the way. And that's it, so creatures, well, I think you're just outside of three, you're more outside of three. He actually comes after the trooper, unfortunately. Closest technically would be Oberon. He'd have to fight. He fights that, that creature, uh, that zombie. Plus one against his plus four. Uh, 21. He may not have dark energy then, but he slew him mightily with that sword. It's over here. Plus two against plus one for that zombie. Woof, 13. He's gonna take two damage. Got 14 health. That leaves him with 12. Uh, this guy's gonna take a shot, because he can see with his carbine. So, shooting on a plus zero to plus three for the sentry. That's a seven, uh, but, it, so the seven is six. It hits, but it doesn't actually do any damage. Then he'll shoot Inquisitor Oberon. Plus six, because of the Void Blade. Uh, he's okay. Two plus zero. The second one does the same thing. Uh, that's a 12, that's a 14 though, because of the plus six from Void Blade. This one also shooting Oberon. Uh, plus six is still gonna make a miss. This fella can't see, so he'll head towards the door, but he'll be able to see over on next turn. This zombie, uh, can't see Des, but can see over here. Actually, can see Wizard over on too, so it's gonna go around the corner. Moving five. Well, time to make the stabs. Uh, over here, can't move, so it's just gonna be a straight up fight between Rico and the zombie. Plus one for uh, the zombie, plus two for Rico. That's an 18, that's enough to kill it, finally. He had to forfeit his action. He could move afterwards, couldn't he? Melee, so he could move again. He'll move five. Start getting in the war with everybody. Then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna try and open this physical loot trait. So it's a will roll for the recruit. His will is plus zero. Jesse! Oh, fails by one. And crack it open. Uh, and then it's Diz going six. Gonna take a shot into that soldier zombie with her pistol. Plus one. It's fight plus one. She hits a 13, it gets a 16 though and misses. End of turn. Three. One plague zombie and one soldier zombie at different random points on table edge. So one to five clockwise, four. So regular zombie, zombie, 16 back here. A whole lot of zombies in this table. Uh, all right, well, captain phase for turn three. Where are we gonna go now? Um, I guess we should check this door. So we're going to move to the door. Our first action, free action to check it. Plus, nope, that one's broken. Then we will activate uh, dark energy again on a 10. Gets it off. So we can make our power moves to make sure we're in contact with this computer because we're gonna have to hack it next turn. And we'll blast that soldier zombie. Plus five, it's in the open, but we moved. So it's fight plus two. That's a 20 to a 11. Just again, vaporize the dark energy. It's all monsters because we're too far away to lead the crew. So closest looks like it's gonna be this uh, soldier zombie. Shooting poor Rico, fight plus, shoot plus zero. Um, so we are an 11 for the bad guy and then plus two is a 16, he's okay. This one much the same thing, also in Rico, but some terrain in the way this time. Uh, that's a 10 to a six, so he's okay. Uh, this zombie's gonna move towards the boss. Going five. And this one over here is gonna shoot at Oberon. Uh, shoot plus zero against his fight plus six. That's uh, a three to an eight. Backwards, the next one, same target. That's a 21. This last, actually that one should have actually shot Dez, or Diz rather, and this one will too. Uh, she's got cover, so she is fight plus two. That's a 10 to a four. All right, well, soldier in time. Let's try and crack this sucker open again on a 14. 
Nope. Uh, do we book it? Nah, we'll, we'll keep cracking on. Uh, we're going to, we'll just move to the other side of this. So we're a little bit closer to the door at least. Then uh, we're going to move the trooper heading up seven. Or sorry, not seven, five rather, in a cover. And then blast this guy on the way. Plus three for the trooper against that zombie twice plus one, plus two because I moved. Ooh, that's a 20 to a 17 misses. The sentry heading up. He's going to go his five to these crates and then shotgun that zombie in the open. So plus two for the zombie again because I moved to my plus two. That's a 19. Damage plus two is 11 points of damage versus armor 10. Blast it. Let's move this zombie. Four and then it starts climbing. <laughs> and Diz gets to go actually. She's going to, I think, jump down. She's going to jump three. Huh. Be okay. Uh, and then just move uh, three into contact with this and then take a shot. So the zombie. Two plus one against its fight plus one plus two because I moved. Misses. I should have cracked the data loot if I was smart. Right, and that is a turn. What a rise. Four. Plague zombie and one soldier zombie at a random table edge. So plague zombie, 14 would be back here. And then soldier zombie, 11 would be over here. Good for Diz. All right, Oberon. Oh, we really need to hack the planet here. That thing's gonna come fight us. No group activation. I think we just hack and wait. So, hack and test. That's gonna open the door, so the elevator's open. Good news for us. Uh, I think we just use our second action to move into the elevator, but still staying close to the zombie. Almost no matter what I do, that zombie's gonna go after, I have to stay closer than it is to Ace, otherwise it's gonna go after him. So we'll just stand over here. And zombies, again, closest first, so heading into me. And then fighting, fight plus one against my fight plus four. And that's not good, so 10 to seven. No damage though. Next closest would be probably the zombie over here, comes and fights Diz. 21, no! Number 10, that's 11 points of damage, she's got one left. Just not great. She is wounded. Uh, then can't shoot into combat, so it just sits still and shoots whatever else it can see. No, it goes towards a target point, actually. Uh, no, it goes towards her. Uh, heads towards the target point because it can't see. These are both gonna, he'll head towards the target point. Uh, can it see? No, nope, can't see him. Can't see the recruit, so I'm just gonna head up five towards. Ace, I could see him. Uh, so actually shooting into my trooper uh, in cover. So plus one, uh, that's gonna be a 21 for my trooper and then just an 11, so okay. Here shooting into Ace, who's in cover. Oh no, a 20 as well. Oh, he's armor 11, nine points of damage. Uh, that's a 21 total actually. No, it's shoot zero, so it's just a 20. Uh, so four points of damage left. He's wounded now. They're cocky and it's all starting to fall apart. <laughs> That's everybody? No, just this one. Can't shoot, so it's gonna head towards the target point slash Diz, who I think is dead. It feels like time to get on the elevator. So we're gonna back up with you. You're just gonna get into melee because you're wounded. You only have one action. Uh, then my trooper's gonna back up five into the doorway, shooting as we go. Take a shot into this zombie. Zombie, uh, shoot plus one, plus two, because I moved. Just misses. And then you're gonna take one last stab at cracking this thing open. Give me that 14. Ugh, we're gonna book. Recruit's like, nope, can't do it, boss. I couldn't get into the box. Diz fights that zombie. I'm wounded, so I'm fight plus zero. That's a nine to a 15. It eats her. Loot for Oberon's posse. This one is, this one is rough. There's a lot of zombies on the table. And around, what arrives? 19, that can't be good. Plague zombies at a random point on the table edge, Rob. We'll just have them show up over here. That's great. And then Oberon's gonna group activate. Uh, unfortunately, we're in melee. Oh, I can dark energy though while I'm in melee. So we're gonna dark energy first. Ten. You damage got under seven. <laughs> oh my god. It didn't it didn't work out his plan. Uh then and then this guy's gonna move. Oh no, everybody has to move first, never mind. So he couldn't have he'd he'd have moved zero and so would he. This guy moves in, and then my sentry at plus five. That's 21. Shanks the zombie finally. 
but then nobody can move. He was wounded, so he would actually have had to melee first, I guess. <laughs> Gotta move second. So that's that. The zombies have arrived. Three zombies pounce over here onto my poor sentry, like a regular guy, my recruit. Uh, so the first one, uh, that's a tie, so they stay in combat. The second one, uh, we win, it's only plus one. The third one, ooh, it gets a 16, six points of damage. That recruit's got five left. Two in melee with him right now, because one would have been pushed back. It's further zombies, moving forward five. This one can't see to shoot, so it moves towards the target point. Uh, this one can shoot my sentry. Plus zero. That's an eight, but no damage. And then over here, into my sentry. <laughs> my sentry's not wounded, or no, is wounded actually, so only gets plus two, so it's a 14. Okay. None of these guys have a line of fire, so they just start heading towards the target point. Which is that doorway, after they eat Diz. And around five, that'll be place one plague zombie in front of each lift door. Oh, great. This door's open over here, so it's just over here. You're back to bait. I mean, I think you're stuck, recruit. I think we just move in. And move in, you're wounded, so all you're doing is moving. And then we start shooting, so shooting over here. Actually, we'll dark energy. We do, finally. Uh, so I shoot plus five attack into the closest sentry zombie. Or, uh, what's my name? 17. We got three left and it stuns him, but he doesn't get killed. Uh, and then over here, we'll take a shotgun shot into him. Actually, no, we're wounded. Just the trooper then. Shoot him with the same. He's in cover now because he's on his back. He's okay. 19, uh, we moved, so. Plus two is 20, and then on the ground for 21. All right, well, let's see if we win. We have to push back all these zombies to get out of here. So the first zombie fighting him, uh, we win. The second zombie fighting him, we win. They both get pushed back. The third one, we don't win. <laughs> so it does four more points of damage, and takes him down to one, now he's wounded. One zombie melee with him, and two like looking around. Then this last one goes in, because that was the fresh one, and fights. And they tie. Sorry, the zombie wins because the zombie's a plus one because he's wounded now, but doesn't do any damage. Uh, then shooting over zero. He's okay. The fuse light continues. Another one, but this time I'm in cover. Plus seven, 25. We're okay. And then the last one, 21. Also okay. These two zombies just creep closer. And as the turn ends, do I fight my way out of this and maybe get away? And the survey says. Maybe we push back one. I think we cut our losses though, and we just slam the door. Because otherwise, I think the fuse a lot of soldier zombies is going to take us out. So Rico and Ace, along with Inquisitor Oberon, slam the door to the elevator and depart. And we start a new turn though with just the recruit on the table. Which means the monsters go first. First wave of zombies, first one. Doesn't kill him. Second one. Kill the turn. This guy, this poor guy gets devoured by zombies. Lost Diz and we lost the other recruit. Jesse. So Jesse and Diz both down. Um, and we're into the post game. Because only half the crew's here, we cap out at uh, 200 experience. We're gonna get 20 for the lift door opening and 15 for each one that exits. So that's a 45. So a total of 65. We get 30 for the game we played, 30 for losing a model. Um, we didn't unlock any tokens. Uh, we did activate a power. Uh, three uh, Dark Energies, and then um, our Void Blade for four, so 40. And then Uncontrolled Creature, 20 because we killed at least four. It leaves 85 in the bank, so one level for Jedediah goes to 16. Dark act, uh, dark Energy down to a nine. Then we gotta check for our two um, crew and see if they die or not. One to four dead, five to eight badly wounded, and nine plus they're fine. Jesse is fine. Is is okay. Crawling through some air ducts, they managed to make their way back to the crew at the end of the game. But uh, yeah, things get things get dicey there for a minute for Diz and for, um, uh, whatchamacallit, for Jesse. The lift moving, we gotta find out what happened to the other half of the adventures. The Imperials locked in the station, this ragtag group here, uh, currently exploring for loot and what Phobos has been up to. 
So we go, the first mission, Inquisitor Oberon and his security detail making it to the lift, trying to get back to their ship. And in mission two, it's lockdown. We're gonna be seeing what's up with Phobos um, and the scavengers that were still live on station 37 um, as they orbit Logan's world. So we'll be back with that one in two weeks. Big thanks for watching. Till next time, Ash. Apple Gaming. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.